I tell you, I don't think you want to be left here, do you? Somebody said one time, said, well, if he's getting a load up today, I think I'll wait on the next one. Well, I don't think there's going to be a next load, amen? I'm going up in that first one. And I tell you what, I am looking forward to it, amen? Amen. I tell you, heaven's in view. Heaven's in view. Amen. We need to live each day as it's your last day on this earth. You should have came to church this morning and, and figured, you know what, this is my last sermon that I'll ever hear preached because I'm about to make it. We should live each day that way. And do we all do it? No, I know we don't. But we should. Amen? We should. Amen. All right, for, you can come, come on, brother. We can, we do have our table. I say we're table. We've got our, our CD set up out there on the porch when we get through this evening. And we're not through, by the way. <laughs> we, and, uh, we do have our CDs out there, and we ask that you help us in any way you can. And uh, fuel's high. Tires are high. i got a tire now that's got the metal showing through it out there. And uh, you say, what are you driving on it for? Well, I don't have the money to buy another one. <laughs> that's why I'm driving on it. So I'm just praying over it. And the Lord, and you know what? He'll keep it until we He supplies the need. Amen. So everything you do helps our ministry to keep us going. And in this day and hour, we need your help. Okay? All right. God bless you. I asked Pastor Jacob to come help me. He's going to pray over the offering we're about to receive. Uh, one good thing about gospel music is you get to hear them sing before you. They don't charge you at the door with Brady's Stone anyway. I know some of them do, but this is, uh, but, and I think we've heard some great singing so far. Now, I want to ask Brother Jacob to pray over the offering and he'll receive it. Uh, y'all give us giving it to the Lord. And remember, God loves a cheerful giver. Yes. Yeah, Father, we thank you for this night. We thank you for the Brady's being here. Lord, we ask that you bless and you anoint them as they sing tonight. May they touch our hearts and reach into us with the spirit of your power and your will. God, we ask that you bless this offering. May it go to their need and their will and their desire, Lord. God, may you expand their ways and may you use it just for your glory and for your power in your name. Through them, may you work in your name. Amen. He's glad you're in the house of the Lord tonight. Amen. I guess you want us to get back up here. <laughs> Amen. We're glad you're here tonight too. If you weren't here, nobody must be in here. So we're glad you're here. Amen. And uh, so, you know, small crowds don't bother us. Large crowds don't bother us. In between crowds don't bother us. We've sunk to two people before. We have. And uh, so, you know, that don't bother us. I learned a long time ago when I was, when I was uh, a teenager, I used to go to nursing homes. So it's just be me and a couple other folks, you know, singing to, to one person at a time. Unless there's a couple of people in the room. But, uh, uh, you know, we just learned to, to uh, just, you know, you guys got to do what the Lord wants you to do. Amen? Amen. So I'm thankful that. Here's a song Kayla wrote when she was 16 years old. Actually done real well for us. Went to like number 21, I think it was. In the singing new magazine. Here's a song that simply says that you know. Her dad preached out of Joshua chapter four one Wednesday night and she went on to this song.
children ask them what the stones meant. The story of glory was revealed to them. And even though it did not make sense in their eyes, God worked it for good, like He does every time. They're just stacking some stones up to remind you of what. Step back and let